Hello out there, my name is Miss and I'm a 3D graphic artist. I've been using 3D graphics for years, I have worked in several programs and uh, for a lot of years I was a Lightwave user. But about two years ago I moved to Blender because it has some new uh, features that I very much would like to work with. So uh, I've moved to Blender and after moving to Blender I discovered... Uh, <clears throat> how should I put it? A lot of people uh, request help for Blender. There's a lot of new people on the Blender forums and a lot of them require help to start. Some seem to not be Googling, some seem to not be checking out YouTube videos and so on, but just jumping out and asking. And of course, we all work a different way. But what I also have discovered uh, since I've joined the Blender community is a lot of people do not know how to make a standard screenshot of your computer. And that's quite sad because I see a lot of people who want to ask for help and then they take their mobile phone and take a picture of their monitor and then post the picture, which often is in very lousy quality and not even sufficient to help in many occasions. So I would like to show uh, all the new Blender users uh, a few ways of capturing a picture from your screen or animation from your screen video um, to be able to request better for help on the Blender forums. To start with, we have a Blender here and I have one of my scenes opened. And uh, the first thing we're going to look at is the keyboard here in this scene. Because as of many keyboards, if you look closely, you have a button called Print Screen. And what Print Screen does is it gives you the capability of capturing an image of your screen into your memory buffer, into your clipboard. <clears throat> so if I'm here, I can click a print screen, click the button, and it will save automatically a image of my screen into my clipboard. If I open my uh, Microsoft Paint here, you can see if I press Control V to paste, you will see an image of my screen now. But as you see, my screen is rather big because I'm running a three monitor setup. Let's switch this down to a small camera here so we better can see. I'm running a three monitor setup. And if that is your problem, that can of course be a little annoying. But what you can do is then let's just take the picture again here, select your blender and press Alt plus print screen. If you do that, it will capture only the window you have selected. So if I go in here, I can press Ctrl V. And as you see now, I have only the Blender window. If it was another single window from Blender, I could do that as well or from some other application. Another thing you can do is you can in Windows 10 uh, and I think as well Windows 8, you have a screen capture possibility that is uh, built in within Blender. You can press Windows, Shift and S. Windows, Shift and S. Then you will get a little overlay where you can draw a box. And you will then get a window down here in the corner that shows you a preview of what you have just captured. Again, you can go into Facebook, make your new post, type your text and press Ctrl V to insert the new area you have captured. That could be a situation where you would like to record something because it's a little more um, complicated what you want to show. What you can do then is inside Windows 10, <clears throat> there actually is a screen recording feature. If I take Blender here again, I can then press Windows, Alt and R and it will automatically start recording my screen. So if I turn around here, I zoom in a bit, I zoom out. I can then press Windows, Alt and R again, and it will stop recording. And you'll see a little picture on your screen that shows you where your image is saved. 
And if I open that folder, you will see now that I have just saved the animation under C, Users, My User, Videos, and Screen Clips. And if you see here, this is the animation clip we just made. And every time you do this, you have the possibility to drag this into your Facebook post or copy paste it by pressing Ctrl V every time you're taking a screenshot. And by doing so, you get it much easier to explain to people out there what you need help with and people can better see what you're doing. I hope this can be helpful for some of your new users in Blender and uh, perhaps us also some of the other guys out there. Have fun and go work some 3D.